news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smarty, the apple so. Six states has dragged INEC Buhari government to Supreme Court. Wants Tinubu's victory annulled. Well, a lot of people have concerns about the system that produced our very own brother, Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. One of the first words he says in the acceptance speech as president-elect was, it's really my turn. That is, the, there is nothing wrong in that statement in itself, but what is wrong is all the overwhelming evidence, you know, pointing to the fact that there could have been some manipulations during the election that may have produced him. Now, in that case, if that is true, if there is something seriously not right, then there need to be corrections for this nation to move forward. We cannot base our beginnings on lies and expect to have a fluid, a fluid government, you know. So these are some of the things that are being of grave concern. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. Six states. Drag INEC Buhari government to Supreme Court once Tunubu's victory annulled. Six states of the Federation, Adamawa, Akwaibom. Wow, Akwaibom is uh, okay. Bayesa, Delta, okay, Sokoto have dragged the federal government before the Supreme Court over the con dot collation announcement of the February 25th, 2023 presidential national assembly elections they said this have shown that there is something seriously not right overwhelming evidence are all over our faces that this election was done was manipulated in order to favor his party presidential candidate evidence is emerging almost every day from that very election process are one of the reasons major reasons why we feel in Delta, in Edo, in Sokoto, and in other places, there are still video and video and all kinds of evidences pointing to the fact that there were serious manipulation with the whole electoral process. The results do not tally, the results on ground do not tally with the results that are being read by INEC. INEC is horrendly trying to make up still uploading results so what was the reason for the immediate announcement why did they have to hurriedly make an announcement of the presidential candidate having not satisfied satisfactorily provided nigerians with all the needed evidences according to law on how to produce a presidential candidate there are you know people are concerned and these states have dragged uh, Buhari as well as INEC to court saying, I'm not happy, we're not happy, and we want it to be loud and clear. We want the elections to be annulled because um, the, the overwhelming evidence is to prove. So we're not just saying what we're saying because we feel hurt that our party did not get A or B. Said, no, that's not the... That's not the, the main bone of contention here, if you ask me. So the main reason is that there are a lot of things that do not quite add up. Okay, if you're speaking about the election, a lot of things do not really add up. And so it, it, it has become very important that every single person, you know, look at these things more and understand where we are all coming up from in terms of ensuring that Nigeria you know we have the best of candidates you know uh, because i mean since the announcement why some are happy celebrating of course like it is in every election some are not some people feel very much like you know their their mandate has been taken it has been snatched from their hands okay and um you know people some people feel that there is rigging that yeah rigging of the election the whole process has occurred yeah, some people feel that the election process, there was a lot of rigging and do not trust whatever is coming out, you know, or whatever has come out. For instance, let's even start from the very first point. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to memory lane. What does the, what does 
INEX says. INEX says the results will be uploaded from the portal so everybody will be able to assess it, right? Okay, that's, we understand it. Moving forward, the results were not uploaded from the portals. INEC have not sorted out itself, but they have hurriedly announced the result. Why the hurry? What's in, what is in for them to protect that they are hurriedly trying to pronounce the winner of the so-called so said election in order for them to have, it just feels like there are some things they want to get at all costs. Okay, they want to, you know, it just feels very strongly that there is something more beyond what we see or what we know. It just feels like there is something more. So every single person, sincerely, truly speaking, you know, do not really understand where this whole thing is headed. You know, apart from those who may be in support of the presidential candidate, others, okay, do not really feel that, you know, what has happened you know that everything is all right people feel overwhelmed that something is seriously wrong with the whole process so can you see that you know the concerns uh, you know are, are rising people are genuinely concerned asking saying so what did we do wrong how come we could not get our mandate but nigerians have been warned not to go, go on the streets and make any form of protest we saw what happened at ensas and so one of the ways that we can do some of these things for instance, some people have instigated what we call, you know, some people have instigated what we call, you know, a visa ban on some of these agents or people who acted out this script. You know, a lot of things are also involved. So whether you like it or not, Nigerians, we just have to make sure that things are done decently and in order because at the end of the day, truth must become the watchword. You know, every single one of us must understand that this country belongs to us. A very few minute set of people want to make us feel otherwise so that they can continue to manipulate us and have their way. But if we're going to listen to them, then we have lost our very own self. These are some of the things we should never give attention to and ensure that at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes a better place for every single one of us. Remember that you have a voice. So we must continue to speak out. Six states, we have 36 states. So 30 other states, remember that APC has more states, has not said anything. So we'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.